analytics, okay, so th this is what I, a sign that I have for people. Like if you don't have analytics, then you're basically clueless and you can't be clueless in business. Like if you're, what I'm talking about is you're doing all these social networks and you don't know what's working and you don't have any stats and you have nothing to prove it, like then you, know, you can just say it's going great and it's doing this, whatever, but it's not. Okay, I have every week, uh, we, I have to provide reports, okay, for uh, Champions Way on everything. Like on every single statistic of all of our social networks. So that was one of the best things we had to do. And it makes me on top of it so I know what's working and I know what's not working. So if you don't understand that, that's something that's a whole other conversation. Like once you get your networks together, then getting the, the correct analytics and reviewing it every single week. If you don't stay on top of it, it's, it's not going to be good. Because you won't know what's working and be wasting a lot of time, which is the biggest fear in social media marketing, uh, wasting time. All right, so if you don't know how to do it and you're trying to delegate it to someone else and they don't know how to do it, then they got, you're going to be getting really frustrated because you're not going to see any results from your program director or whoever's doing it because they don't know what they're doing. So we'll get back. To, uh, we'll go we'll back to that. Um, so here we go. So this is when I say analytics. This is like basically the questions that I want to know. That's always the best way to start when you're doing marketing. Like I want to know. These are, this is what I want to know, and if I can figure this out, then it's going to help me make really good decisions. So first one obviously is what is working. What is working? What is working? I can tell that from, from a variety of things. Number one. Would basically be am I getting any types of leads? That's that, that's the ultimate thing. Money is really what we're trying to get. We're trying to get students. So if we're not getting leads, then it's not working. Okay? Um, or at least I would say second would be engaging. Conversations, engagement, we're talking. That that means it's working. If, if I'm on Twitter and I have two followers after four months, then it's not working. That would be mean it's not working. I obviously like, I know that two of those people are my students and I have no leads. So maybe it's not working, then I have to go back. Is it the content? Is it the way I'm trying to get out more, some more followers? Am I marketing it correctly? Do I have it on my website? You know, that, that, so we can just uh, see what's going on. Uh, what content is being shared? Like, I want to know, like, what, what, uh, what content, what blog posts, what uh, videos that I have? You know, how many people are viewing it? How many people are sharing it with others? There's a lot of uh, functions you can use now on blogs to share your content. You want to know, and it's really simple. Like, if I went to my Champions Way blog right now, I know how many times the content we've had has been shared. I know how many people like it. I know how many people have looked at it. I know I mean, how many people uh, just like what it took to them uh, to get to that page with the blog analytics. So yeah, we find out what drives people, what keywords they typed in to get to the blog. So you might think your keywords are, let's just say ABC kickboxing, but really it could be like cardio kickboxing Turnersville. Like if you, you, never, you never know. And it tells you what people type in there. So it's really cool. You can find out from all from all your leads. Yes, from the blog. From the blog we're talking about, blog analytics. What areas need improvement? I'm sorry, Dave, go back. Sorry. sorry, what areas need improvement? Like that's that's all, also what I can tell. I can look at Facebook, blog, YouTube, okay, they're all going well. I can tell you right now, for me, it's always Twitter. That's always our weakest, our weakest one is always Twitter. It's the hardest one, so that's just what it's like for us, but you know, we're, we're just trying to do it more consistently, trying to get more followers, trying to engage more. It takes the most time by far, Twitter, by far. Uh, what is the, what is the lead conversion rate? That's obviously we need to know that too. Like what is like if we're getting ten leads a month from Facebook, how many of them are signing up? Next slide. So this is a sample. Like and you've seen this if you've been in my meetings. This is something you need to have. Like the minimum, the basic. This is again, this is the most basic chart that you should know. If you're if you're not tracking this every single week, then it's it's basically you're not tracking how many leads you have. All right. So how many Facebook fans do I have? How many YouTube subscribers do I have? How many views? How many Twitter followers? How many community? This was Champions Way, like about uh, uh, I think two months after we start, I started doing the social media for them. That was you know now the numbers have gone up a lot. I think we have over um, I don't know how many fans now, whatever. But we're, we're maybe it might have been like two months before we started. But anyway, this is the this is the basic. How many fans? YouTube, Twitter, blog it would be subscribers. Okay, blog I don't have it up there, but it would be how many subscribers do you have to your blog? All right, next slide. Social media etiquette, this will be takeaway number two. Okay. Next one. Okay, so the simplest ones right here. So you're getting started with social media, you have no idea what you're doing, you want, you want to just get started. The first thing you want to do is listen. Okay? You just want to listen to everybody. You just want to you know, find out what's going on. It's like you walk into this room, you know, like when you first get in here, if, I, if someone else was, uh, everybody was already talking in the conversation, I would just walk right in and be like, hey guys, I wouldn't do that. They you know, like, picture it that way. It's the same thing, but it's online. I'd sit in, I would you know, sit at the table, try to hear what's going on, listen, 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 then, you know, feel a little more comfortable, then get involved in the conversation. 
So that's that's the most important thing. Listen to see what's going on online. What, what are people talking about on Facebook? What are they talking about on Twitter? You know, see what, you know, and then you'll just go butt into a conversation like so everybody's talking, you're just like, Do you want to sign up for six weeks? Yeah. Or something else where it's just like, Okay, we have a free special, you wanna come in for a class? I see it all the time, guys too. I see that we do it sometimes. But some people they go it's just you go right for the kill. Like, you know, sign up now, sign up now. So don't do that. Uh, do not say anything that you would not say to someone in person. That's really important. So you know, don't be getting involved with people if they're saying anything. You know, if you, if you don't say, don't say anything to them that you wouldn't say them right to their face. You know, I mean, uh, even parents. Like you know, sometimes like we'll have people complaining on Facebook about something. But just be really professional. Handle it the same way you would in person. Simple. Dealing with negativity, it is going to happen. So I've heard that people before too. Some school owners will sit there and say like. Yeah, I just you know, I just I'm not really big on Facebook. Like, because people can post up there bad things. Yeah, they can. That's absolutely okay. Be ready to deal with it because it's going to happen. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. It is going to happen. All right. So make sure you have a strategy on how to deal with it. I'll break it down really simple for you. Be professional. Be courteous. Apologize, and then call them on the phone. <laughs> That's it. That's what you got to do. All right. You know, like if you, don't get into the, like a, a going back and forth on there. Apologize. Show them your concern, and call them on the phone. Deal with it offline. And that's it. We had that happen in Champions Way when we were at the um, convention. Somebody was complaining about something. Uh, anyway, we responded to the guy to make sure he understood that we cared. We asked him for his, uh, his phone number, and then we, we dealt with him, and now he's fine. He was, he was upset about uh, something, and you know, he wasn't happy, and whatever. We dealt with it off the line. Uh, give, give credit to others. Like If you're like uh, going on and you're taking someone else's content, the worst thing you do is like just not like, at least give them uh, credit for it. You know, it's like it's like it's like plagiarism. So if someone has a great article, don't like copy and paste it and pretend like it's your article on, on like bullying or something like that. Who cares? Like the, the thing is, as long as it's information, like sometimes that's a lot easier. Instead of me writing a whole big article, if I see something online, I'll just send a link. Parents, check this out. Think about how easy it is. I'm not a good writer. I can't do this. I can't do that. Great. Well, then just share other people's content and just give them credit. We're just email them a link. It's a lot easier than having to come up with all these secret success stories and uh, you know become on material. Uh, be yourself. That, that's the thing. Like uh, be your, just be you. Don't be someone else uh, when it comes to social media. Okay. Next, the difference maker is the del delivery process. Let's go on to that. This right here is a mixer. Might not be look like that, but it's like you know the mixer. I don't know if any of you guys ever saw like, uh, you know you have in your school. Uh, the reason why I say that is because every it's you got to mix everything up. All right. If you keep like I've been, in, I've seen some profiles and like sometimes like I'm on I'm on people's profiles and it's all quotes. Just every like, the past four months has been like other people's quotes. <coughs> like you know like, that's that's just like I mean, think about it. After a while, like, the first month I liked it. I was using it as motivation. I'm like wow, this is good. Nice quote. Nice quote. I mean, after how many quotes do I want to hear? After four, I'm, I'm talking no other post except a quote for four straight months. You know so. That's not going to be good. So throw a quote in there, you know, which is good for your students, the words of the week or something like that. You know, but then also throw a video in there. Throw you know, a, a, a blog post in there. Throw something else in there besides just the same stuff. You've got to sit down and think and try to mix it up. All right, next. Links, they're obviously really important. Like I talked about links. You can use, like, uh, it was interesting. Facebook actually banned bit.ly links for like, like one day. It's a link shortener. So that way you can see how many people actually click your links. They banned it or something. There was a problem. But now they're accepting them again, so you can use Bitly. Uh, Bitly is a, sh a link shortener. So that way you can just, like, if you have a blog, instead of you saying, please check out my blog here, then it's a big long address, you just you take the, the, the blog link, put it into Bitly, it shortens it, and then it says, please click here. And then it just has like, a small, small link and people can click it. And then the good thing is we know how many people actually click the link. Like, we know that Bitly is a service that... You can see that 20 people clicked it, 4 people clicked it. All right, next. Tech sucks. Like, that's just not going to get shared. It's just not going to get shared. All right, but seriously, think about it. Like, remember we talked about in the beginning? Like, it's all about getting your content shared. Okay, well, people are not going to copy and paste your, like, paragraph or your text or whatever. It's just not, it's not exciting. The most shared thing on the Internet is links. 